Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the video here at Empty Paradise. So we are in Houston. We're at Coffee and Cars. Well, we're at, not quite there yet because the whole parking situation is like an absolute mess. They're not letting people in. Telling people to go around the building, you go around the building and they say you can't enter. So I'm kind of parked down the road, walking up right now. Hopefully if I ever come back to one of these, it's gonna be a lot more organized, but there's gonna be a couple Hennessy Venom F5s. Got a couple of Ventador uh, Ultimates, if that's how you say it and so many more. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so that was super awesome. Like, they're about to pull out the roaster right now. But, we got Martin back in the vlog, so oh definitely check out his stuff. He's got all kinds of awesome content. I'm sure you probably got a cold start on that, didn't you? Oh yeah, amazing. <laughs> it sounds so good and so loud. I did not expect these Hennessy's to sound this good. It's just a beauty to have these cars here. Because I'm gonna try to get a cold start of the roaster. Um, but yeah, I walked up as they're like pulling out the trailer, but that thing was crazy and Go ahead and check out this other one. There's a bunch of Aventador, Aventador SVJs pulling in. I mean, this sure. this meet's gonna be crazy. All right guys, so the Venom, Hennessy Venom F5s look absolutely insane. There's just a massive lineup of Lamborghinis behind me. A nice blue uh, Aventador SVJ just pulled in. So we're gonna go check that out. But man, this is already a pretty crazy event. And stay tuned, there's gonna be a lot more content coming.
Okay, so we got the final iteration of the Aventador. It's called the like Ultimate, I think that's how you pronounce it. But there's not one, not two, but there are three of them here, and they look absolutely amazing. You got these two with like the removable roof sections that are all carbon fiber. Got the coupe right here, which looks insane. But all three of these are absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, the whole back end is like completely different from like regular Ventadors. But it's almost kind of like took inspiration from the STO. You got the exhaust that comes out right here, kind of raised up more in the center. Comparing it to like an STO, it has a very similar design aspect. But honestly, in my opinion, I prefer a Huracan STO over the Aventador uh, Ultima. But that's just my preference. I love all the crazy aero on the STO. Um, I do like how the whole back end of the new Ventador, though does look very similar you can kind of see it right there got that exhaust up high got that kind of mesh right there whereas the Aventador you can kind of see it's pretty much like the same kind of mesh but man these things are insane you got that crazy diffuser down below it's not as aggressive on the STO over there but this thing just looks insane and this color and this one is beautiful so let's go ahead and go to the front and go check them out you can see this one's like a matte purple with kind of like a paint sparkle to it like it looks so good got dry carbon versus gloss carbon on these but this color though is so nice especially in the sun and that purple and green like this is such like a nice deep green with all that gloss carbon and then the matte with the dry carbon and then gloss with gloss carbon again but man all three of these are insane but also that STO right there looks so good, especially in this whole lineup of Lamborghinis. Like this looks crazy, but let me know what you guys think of this STO versus the Ultima. Like, would you guys prefer the Aventador Ultima, which has a V12 or the STO with the V10? Honestly, these look amazing, but I do like that roof scoop right there. Got that shark fin, giant aggressive wing versus like this nice sleek back end. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys prefer. Ultima or STO. But honestly, out of all these cars, there's like a couple STOs over there. Got one right here, got one right over there, got another one right there. I think there's like some more around here, but this is like the most like STOs I've ever seen in one area. Like this is crazy, as well as like Aventador SVJs. So let's go ahead and check out this SVJ right here, which looks really good. Got another STO over there. <laughs> like this is insane. Man, like this meat is crazy. I love this Perf Monte color, the nice kind of baby blue. But this SVJ and like this kind of like a chalk gray looks so good. And I love the way the whole back looks, especially that you got that giant intake right there and it pulls up into the active aero wing. And I just realized that uh, Ultima actually has like the exact same exhaust as the uh, SVJ. But man, this whole lineup is absolutely insane. So definitely hit that subscribe button because I drove about three and a half hours just to get here. And I made this drive just for you guys. So please go down and hit that subscribe button because this was a lot of work to pretty much come out here. This is a really crazy like event, but oh my gosh, I'm just gonna keep walking around and see what else is here. Also got a Maserati MC20 here, which is the first time for me seeing one in person. So let's go check that out.
Right, guys, there are just so many crazy awesome supercars. Like, got a Ford GT sitting right here, but then also like the MC20s. You got both those. There's this one that's like this pearl white that kind of has like this blue kind of reflection. You probably saw it in the clips a little while ago. But you can kind of see like that bluish kind of reflection there on the front end. Like this thing is absolutely insane. Like, and you have like the butterfly doors, kind of like McLarens. And then if you look at like the back windows, they are just insane. It has like the trident kind of cut out into the, like the glass. But let me show you guys that real quick. But look at that. Like this thing is just insane. It's like the trident and that pearlescent just looks so cool. But wow, yeah, the first one for me to see in person. Well, I guess technically first two, but these things are incredible. Well, like I keep saying like this meet is insane, but right here we got this giant lineup of R35 GTRs and they all just look absolutely amazing. There's a beautiful white Nismo sitting right here with this crazy carbon fiber hood, but man, I'm just gonna keep walking around checking out stuff. There's quite a few uh, ZR1s here, which look incredible. So yeah, like this, this meet definitely does not disappoint. And some of these cars are absolutely insane. And some of these I, I probably will never see like in San Antonio, Austin area, because Houston is on a whole other level.
Alright guys, so the police are like had this huge fleet of tow trucks come and they're pretty much towing every single car along the street and they're just scooping them up and taking off with them like this is crazy and then the police are like pretty much pulling over like everybody for driving by like that but right now they're distracted with the tow trucks but man this is insane All right guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up this video right here, but what do you guys think of coffee and cars here in Houston? This was an absolutely crazy event. People getting pulled over, cars like revving going wild, MC20 going low sideways, pulling out, but also got the STO as well as the Ultimates. Like, they just look absolutely incredible, but if you guys like this video, definitely go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this, and as always, thank you for watching.